Today in health news, we learned there are now four children here in the state of Indiana positively diagnosed with the COVID-19 related multi-system inflammatory syndrome. This is up from the very first case. There was just one that we learned about and reported to you back on Monday. Now, all four of the children sought treatment at Riley Hospital. We've learned one was discharged. Three of the children remain hospitalized right now. Now, I talked with a Riley doctor late this afternoon about the treatment and also what parents should know to best protect their children. Um, so the main treatment right now is potent anti-inflammatory medicines. And so there's a medicine that we call IVIG, which is um, a bunch of antibodies that are collected from people that we use for other very inflammatory syndromes. That's the main treatment. Other inflammatory medicines like IV steroids, and some other more potent anti-inflammatories are the main medicines that we're using. Of course, there's nothing proven to work for this, um, but kind of with consensus across the country, that seems to be what everybody's using um, and using with success. Covering is making the diagnosis early, and that's done when we're aware of the primary symptoms and take action. So here they are, a prolonged fever with severe abdominal pain. Those are the primary flags. Add to that a body rash, red eyes, swelling of the hands and feet, and cracked lips. We want you to know this syndrome is rare, but it is serious. So if you have concerns about your child's health, please make sure that you're seeking medical attention.